man, we're going to touch down real quick on a major statistic in regards to alcohol. My common sense intuition, everything led me to believe previously that this was the case. I used to drink, but I used to lie to myself like everybody else. I, Well, you know, I don't become a diabolical restless predator. I'm not a creepy, damaging being. You know, when I drink, it doesn't matter if it makes millions of people um, unpredictable, chaotic predators and, you know, world-destroying creeps. It doesn't do that to me, so I can drink. It's what I want. It's my life. It's my body. You know what I mean? I do what I want. It doesn't matter if the force is on fire. I'm not the one who set it on fire, so I don't have to put it out. That I used to think like that, you feel me? But if something causes rape and predation and murderous tendencies and it contributes to division and it helps... World-destroying creeps in major positions of power maintain their positions of wealth and power. You feel me? We gotta evolve past it. The more aware we become, the more accountable or obligated we become. And at some point, I stopped fighting that. You feel me? Then I started to look into statistics. I already knew alcohol, man. Marijuana doesn't cause murder and predation, but alcohol does. And maybe I can't keep performing mental gymnastics to rationalize me drinking alcohol. Maybe, even though I don't want to, I have to evolve past this and only utilize something that doesn't contribute to rape and murder even if i don't enjoy it as much because life doesn't revolve around me and what i want to want i started to accept that majority won't they're going to take their self-obsession to the grave they're going to be an obstacle that the planet unfortunately basically celebrates when they die i mean that's if we refuse to acknowledge reality we keep fighting it keep living for our impulses and desires like self-obsessed empty shells you feel me and and you take that meaningless pointless existence to the grave with you the planet will benefit from your passing it'll celebrate your death because you're one less empty self-obsessed obstacle taking up air and producing damage i mean irrefutable uh, you know what i mean unjustifiable sinister results in your wake of destruction homie I mean, that's that's what we leave that's what we are and that's what the planet does if we continually remain in that trap all right you can't avoid reality you can't look at it as your enemy the minute somebody relays an irrefutable reality and tries to make you aware because they actually give a damn about you alongside the planet if we resent that being or perform mental cartwheels or try to rationalize some some mayhem like majority continually do you'll be the obstacle that the planet basically celebrates your death i mean you don't don't be that man don't allow your existence to be that fool majority are that i mean it's never too late to turn it around but this major statistic 40 percent of all murders 40 percent of all murderers have alcohol in their system at the time of the murder that's almost half of every murderer out there has alcohol in their system when they're murdering somebody you know come on man you can't perform cartwheels around that i've already looked into how many acts of predation sinister things we're not going to go too into detail. When you make people uncomfortable, um, reality is going to discomfort people. But when you're not careful, you don't walk on eggshells and treat people like the self-obsessed overgrown toddlers they are. And you accidentally make them too uncomfortable with reality. They'll double down in that wrong direction. They don't care if it leads to children being harmed, if it, it leads to the diabolical, murderous, sinister behavior that they claim to stand against. You know how everybody, I care about kids. I stand against evil. I'm a good person. I never tell myself, I'm a good person. Never, fool. You know what I tell myself? I look in the mirror and say, I got to earn this oxygen I breathe, fool. And while none of us are perfect, I don't have the right to knowingly repeat my mistakes, homie. I am nothing. But maybe the solution-based impact I leave on this planet will be something. Fool, that's literally what I tell myself, homie. I don't know. Well, I do know what other people are telling themselves. I don't understand how they continually double down in that direction after hearing reality that's irrefutable. If you know 40% of all murders and all acts of predation, all sinister instances and scenarios are manifesting due to alcohol, bro, how do you continually rationalize drinking it, man? I don't understand that. And people literally get angry at you. They'll be like, don't you make me uncomfortable. I can do what I want. Come on, bro. Really? Like a large three-year-old? I chose to evolve past alcohol. I used to love to drink. The minute I was aware of that, wait a minute. Something like marijuana doesn't result in uh, documented murders or acts of predation, not one documented instance, but something like alcohol is basically proven to lead to this kind of maniacal behavior over and over and over. I mean, I, I don't want children to be preyed upon. I don't want a planet to be destroyed, fool. I don't want to live a lie and be an obstacle to this world until I die upon this death. I got to evolve past the alcohol, even though I like it and enjoy it. And uh, maybe I'll just have to utilize something like weed, marijuana or something, if I'm going to utilize something, even though I may not enjoy it as much, because it doesn't result in murder or predation. See, it doesn't revolve around me or what I want, it revolves around what the planet requires. Not only will the majority refuse to adopt or internalize this mindset or purpose, right, they'll resent the few who exhibit this, knowingly.
intentionally after they've been made aware, fool. That's another level of creepy. Those are the obstacles that I'm talking about. That the planet celebrates the passing or death of. Don't be that, fool. It's all fun and games, whoop de whoop None of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. But the minute we're, we become aware of what our mistakes contribute to and what they truly are comprised or consist of, we got to evolve past them. You can't justify your mistakes. You'll become them. You turn a blind eye to an elephant in the room long enough, what happens? It becomes a stampede. <laughs>